NASCAR is headed to the south and Atlanta, Georgia this weekend for the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500. The race will be 325 laps at the brand new Atlanta Motor Speedway, which has undergone a pretty significant reconfiguration and also a brand new pavement. This track has been turned into what is being deemed a quasi super speedway, and so any and all previous track data and or betting information can be thrown out the window. Looking to tracks such as Daytona, Talladega, and to some extent Charlotte, Kansas, Auto Club, and even Las Vegas are probably the best ways to try to handicap this upcoming race. With this being the first race at this new reconfiguration, there is no news or notes to go over, but it is interesting to see the sportsbook set the odds as if this were a super speedway race with nobody falling underneath that 10 to 1 number for an outright. The reconfiguration changed quite a few things here with the banking in the corners increasing pretty dramatically and the width of the track decreasing down the back stretch and increasing down the front stretch which could possibly open up some pretty exciting finishes at the end of stages and the race. As we check on a few drivers to watch ahead of this weekend's race, I'll preface it with saying I am treating this as a super speedway track, just like the sports books are. With that said, the first guy on my list is actually the opening line favorite, and that's Ryan Blaney at 10-1. to 1. Blaney was once again the class of the field this past Sunday in Phoenix, being one of the fastest cars on track all day, leading the most laps of 143, and ultimately finishing inside the top five even while dealing with another <laughs> performance by his pit crew. Blaney in the past has shown the ability to finish really well at super speedways, including in this year's Daytona 500, where even while being blocked by his own teammate for the victory, was able to finish inside the top five while wrecking on the last lap. The next guy I'm watching is actually my favorite driver in NASCAR at the moment, and that's Bubba Wallace at 21 to 1. Wallace hasn't been a great driver throughout his career, but super speedways have been his best track and by a long shot. He has a career 13 top 10s and 9 of them have come at super speedways with his lone victory coming last summer at Talladega. Wallace hasn't been great at intermediate type tracks, but I think with the increased banking and the style of racing that we're expected to see, I guess, the added throttle time should benefit the aggressiveness of a Bubba Wallace. The last guy on my list this week is somebody that it's about time we start to recognize, and that's Ross Chastain at 24-1. to Chastain has simply been amazing this season. He's kind of come out of nowhere taking on the second seat over at Trackhouse Racing and has finished inside the top three in each of the previous two races. His finish over at the Daytona 500 of 40th is quite deceiving, as during stage one, he actually acquired a stage point finishing 10th and was the third fastest car prior to being wrecked by, you guessed it, Brad Keselowski. NASCAR is changing their schedule up a bit this week with cars being able to practice a little bit on Friday with qualifying on Saturday, so keep an eye on those results to see which drivers may or may not find themselves on your betting card. And if you do want to place a bet on the NASCAR race this weekend or on any other event, especially March Madness, which is happening at the same time, head over to FanDuel Sportsbook, where if you sign up now, you can place a bet of just $5 and win 150 in site credit, win or lose on any March Madness game.